Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is June 29th, 2023. We're in the Old Testament book of Deuteronomy. We're going to read chapter 31, verse 1 to 29, I believe. Yes, 1 to 29. <clears throat> so what's going on here? Well, we, we are just about at the end of... Well, we're at about the end of a bunch of things. We're at the end of, of th this wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. We're at the end of, of Moses' life. Uh, we're, we're based kind of at the end of, of that patriarchal system. It, there was a little bit of overlap with judges, but now we're going to start moving into that judges system where they're going to be led by military leaders rather than the, the, the shepherd prophet kind of a person. And so God wants Moses to, to appoint his successor, which is Joshua, uh, and tell him what he needs to do. Uh, one of the things he wants done as every seven years to read the law to the people so that they never forget it and this section concludes with Moses saying you know what I understand you're not going to do it you're going to fall away and you're going to get the curses as, as much as I've been trying to get you to follow God and, and, and seek the blessings you're going to err you're going to walk away you're going to go after the false idols that I mean that's our human nature if things are bad, we, we look to God, and when things are good, we start thinking that, hey, maybe maybe I don't need him after all. And he knows that's what's going to happen. But, let's reiterate, there's a plan for us to come back. God is going to be waiting. When we're ready to repent, God will be waiting. Uh, at a certain point in time, God is going to send us a Savior that who's, who's going to take care of this and change this around so that, so that we are now able to approach God like they can't do here in the Old Testament. That's still a ways off. But Moses sees all that. Moses understands. God has told him, you know what? I win. I'm going to give you a sneak peek at the last page. I win. And you are coming with me. So that's our blessing. That's our salvation. So let's go ahead and we're going to read this section here. Deuteronomy 31, verse 1 to 29. Whoops. If the wind will cooperate. Then Moses went and spoke these words to all Israel. Then he said to them, I am 120 years old today. I can no longer go out and come in. Also the Lord has said to me, you shall not cross over this Jordan. The Lord your God himself crosses over before you. He will destroy these nations from before you, and you shall dispossess them. Joshua himself crosses over before you, just as the Lord has said. And the Lord will do to them as he did to Sihon and all the kings of the Amorites in their land when he destroyed them. The Lord will give them over to you that you may do to them according to every commandment which I have commanded you. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them for the Lord your God. He is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Then Moses called Joshua and said to him in the sight of all Israel, Be strong and of good courage, for you must go with this people to the land which the Lord has sworn to their fathers to give them, and you shall cause them to inherit it. And the Lord, he is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. So Moses wrote this law and delivered it to the priests, the sons of Levi, who bore the ark of the covenant of the Lord and to all the elders of Israel. And Moses commanded them, saying, At the end of every seven years, at the appointed time in the year of release, at the Feast of Tabernacles, when all Israel comes to appear before the Lord your God in the place which he chooses, you shall read this law before all Israel in their hearing. Gather the people together, men and women and little ones, and the stranger who is within your gates, that they may hear and that they may learn to fear the Lord your God and carefully observe all the words of this law, and that their children who have not known it may hear and learn to fear the Lord your God as long as you live in the land which you cross the Jordan to possess. Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, the days approach when you must die. Call Joshua and present yourselves in the tabernacle of meeting that I may inaugurate him. So Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves in the tabernacle of meeting. Now the Lord appeared at the tabernacle in a pillar of cloud, and the pillar of cloud stood above the door of the tabernacle. And the Lord said to Moses, Behold, you will rest with your fathers, and this people will rise and play the harlot with the gods of the foreigners of the land where they go to be among them, and they will forsake me and break my covenant which I have made with them. Then my anger shall be aroused against them in that day, and I will forsake them and I will hide my face from them and they shall be devoured and many evils and troubles shall befall them so that they will say in that day have not these evils come upon us because our God is not among us and I will surely hide my face in that day because of all the evil which they have done and that they have turned to other gods now therefore write down this song for yourselves and teach it to the children of Israel put it in their mouths that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel 
When I have brought them to the land flowing with milk and honey, of which I swear to their fathers, and they have eaten and filled themselves and grown fat, then they will turn to other gods and serve them. They will provoke me and break my covenant. And it shall be when many evils and troubles have come upon them that this song will testify against them as a witness. For it will not be forgotten in the mouths of their descendants, for I know the inclination of their behavior today, even before I have brought them to the land which I swore to give them. Therefore Moses wrote this song the same day and taught it to the children of Israel. Then he inaugurated Joshua the son of Nun and said, Be strong and of good courage, for you shall bring the children of Israel into the land of which I swore to them, and I will be with you. So it was when Moses had completed writing the words of this law in a book, when they were finished, that Moses commanded the Levites who bore the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, saying, Take this book of the law and put it beside the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God, that it may be there as a witness against you. For I know your rebellion and your stiff neck. If today, while I am yet alive with you, you have been rebellious against the Lord, then how much more after my death? Gather to me all the elders of your tribes and your officers, that I may speak these words in their hearing, and call heaven and earth to witness against them. For I know that after my death you will become utterly corrupt, and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you, and evil will befall you in the latter days, because you will do evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands. May God bless the reading of his word. May God bless you. Bye.